Hello and welcome guys to another video and today this video might be a bit different than my other videos so uh yeah anywho uh, if some of you have the asus uh rg strix scar 3 or hero 3 laptops you may be hearing this noise randomly like all of a sudden or when you turn off turn on your pc which is this one and to disable this voice or noise or whatever um, first off I'm just gonna explain to you briefly why it happens well I don't know exactly why it happens but I know partially how, how or why it happens uh, if you check in event viewer on Windows you'll find out that there is a warning that happens once you um, insert your NFC chip or the keystone or whatever you'll get a warning in event viewer for for windows so uh, one sec I just need to refresh I think hmm yeah you'll get a warning as a smart card service error it just happened even like 1 20 a.m. and it's currently 1 20 a.m. so it's because of the keystone it is being recognized as a smart card for Windows so there's a problem I think with the uh, smart uh, card service or the driver as in it says the common header is null I think so uh, if you guys don't need the keystone and you'd just rather like not hear the voice uh, popping up when you play video games or use your PC ra like randomly um, I have a solution for you if you just type in in Windows services you'll be able to find uh, this menu think imaging just don't change anything in here like you might uh, ruin your PC if you do that so just look for the uh, smart card service here it is uh, there are three services in here smart card smart card device emulator and the removal policy only change the first two which is the smart card and the emulation service do not change the removal policy because you might uh, lock your desktop permanently or something, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't um, recommend you to touch it. So anyways, it is set to start up as manual. When you, Once you plug in the NFC chip, it will just um, start. So if you want to just disable the NFC chip, just click on properties uh, on the smart card. After you like, select the smart card, just right click it, click on properties and the startup set it to disabled and click on apply and ok then the same thing goes to the emulation service properties disable apply and ok but the service of like I think both or one is still running so just cl right click on it and click on disable just to make sure click on F5 to refresh and yeah both of them are stopped and disabled. Do not change the removal policy because I didn't test it. I didn't test disabling it. I don't know what will happen. So once I remove the NFC chip and plug it back in, you won't hear any voice at all or noise. And if you check in the event logger or viewer, uh, go to local. Um, errors and smart card service here it is okay it's 1 20 a.m. that's the last time I got an error and it's currently 1 24 a.m. so I'm not getting any more errors because it doesn't recognize that there is an NFC chip plugged in um, so yeah hopefully that helped you uh, just like bypass the issue for now until Asus 
if they even make a fix for this thing and uh, yeah uh, please stay tuned to my channel I'm probably gonna make a new one that is dedicated to paper crafts and so on so yeah um, have a good one bye bye